everybody, welcome back. Um, today, I just thought I'd carry on with um, finishing up our journal, our fabric cover journal, and I just thought this is going to be more of a process uh, video rather than um, a tutorial. So if, if you're not interested in, you know, the process of finishing this out, you, you'll want to turn off now. <laughs> so just giving you guys a warning. I just thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun to just go ahead and work with the kit and and get the journal completed, and you guys might enjoy that. And I don't know how long it's going to be, because it takes as long as it takes. So, um, <clears throat> only thing I'd say, guys, there's probably going to be some moments where I'm not chatting just because I'm still having a lot of trouble with my um, throat and I think talking is putting a strain on it so I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to be too too chatty so I apologize but uh, if this carries on I think I'm gonna end up having to to go into the doctor which I don't want to do <clears throat> I do not like doctors it's nothing personal but I try to stay away from them if I can. So I think what I'm going to do is just get started cutting out some of the ephemera from the kit. I'm going to put the kit below, guys. Um, it's what I've been using for the whole thing. So um, this is Artistic Printables for You. And it's the Sunflower Kit. It's gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, so the, for that front pocket, I'm going to put this postcard and then I might make a tag to go alongside it. So let's get this cut out. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. It, it, this is the reason I've really avoided doing many tutorials because my workspace is just awful. My husband's going to help me get my... Um, camera set up so that I've got more space to work in and then once I've got that done hopefully I can do more without it being it's it really is quite a chore to try to work in this confined space because I tell you I've got <clears throat> no matter how much room you've got it's never enough I think um, okay guys I want to share something um, if you follow Miss Cog, you'll know, you will have seen these already, but um, I've just purchased these uh, blender brushes <coughs> off of Amazon, so I'm going to put the link below. These are amazing. They're cosmetic brushes, but um, they are really, really nice because you guys know I've been using my... Um, Tim Holtz blender thing, which was, um, oh, it was, well, I'll show you. It was a mess because I didn't even have the right, um, member. I, I, I hadn't brought the right sponges, so I thought, well, gosh, instead of buying <coughs> what I need, I'm going to give these a try. And I'm telling you, I love them uh, for this. So when I get organized, I'm going to put a little label, because this is crumb cake, that, um, and I don't want to use, I, I'm going to try to be really disciplined on not mixing my, my um, inks, um, because it, it, sometimes you just get in a hurry and grab things, so I'm going to go through and label mine, because this is primarily what I use is, um, the Stampin' Up! Crumb Cake, but I'm just going to distress that slightly, and I love these. They just do such a nice job. I prefer it to that sponge, because the other thing with these sponges, when they start getting older, you start getting the sponge coming off, and ugh, I don't like them. So if, you, um, if you've not tried them and are looking for something, definitely check those out. They're very affordable. Um, and if you wouldn't mind using my affiliate link, I would so appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything to you. 
it's just if you use that I'll get you know a little bit of um, commission off of um, Amazon and it's at no additional cost to you guys so I'd appreciate that so much um, <clears throat> okay so we've got the card there I want to make a tag so let me get my big shot I'm not going to drag the big shot over guys because um, that didn't work out too well the other day but let me just cut a tag So I've got my tag cut. I'm going to use this stamp. I hope you guys can see that. Just put a little, little bit bumblebee up at the top there. Okay. Um, let's see. We need a bit of ribbon, but let me distress this. Ah, uh, this um, new ink pad from Stampin' Up! I got, and I. Gosh, I tell you, I'm struggling to open the new pads. I don't know. I'm, I think, silly, I think I'm going to have to look up and see if there's a tutorial on it. Because they're really stiff, these new ones. Um, I, I didn't have tr so much trouble with the last one, but um, this one I'm really having trouble opening that one. found a little bit of seam binding that matches that uh, postcard nice, so I think I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put a little bit of my linen thread, because I like that, just to finish it off. I'm so sorry, guys, for all this coughing. I listened to a couple of my videos the other day and thought, oh, I really shouldn't be making anything because it's dreadful, but there's nothing I can do about it. I just cannot. It started off like a cold, um, and then, like I told you, I, I was working with the old book pages for my tutorial, and that really set it off. And I've never, ever suffered with um, allergies or anything like that. So I just don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I guess I'm hoping it's still a bit of a cold because my daughter suffers with allergies. And oh, God, it's awful. I don't, I don't, want, ugh, I don't want to go down that road. I feel so sorry for anybody that that has 
allergies. It's, it's just an awful, awful thing for people to go through. I like that. I really like that. I want to put some sort of little bit of lace. Okay, let me see. See what I've got that I can put in there. Okay, I found this little little flower. Let's set that off. some cheesecloth. Let's see if, if that's going to work. Oh my gosh, I've got those beautiful scissors, but are they within my working radius? No. So I've got the old junky ones again. Um, I kind of like that. And then let me dig through my, let's see, what have I got here? We need a little button. Mm -hmm. Got my little jar of buttons here, guys. I love my buttons. Love them, love them, love them. I'm, um, it's kind of a pretty one. Oh, I need a bit darker, I think. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, let me see if I've got a green one that's going to match. Um, yes, I must get back to the, um, Flea markets are going to be opening up here in April, I believe. And oh, that's kind of pretty. I think I might use that because that, that brighten that up. That's nice. Okay, so anyways, the flea markets I think are going to open up here on Easter. So I'm trying to put a little bit of money back. And because what I have to do, because I'm so bad, is I just have to say, you know, each week I try to tuck a little bit of money back. And um, so that when I go to the flea market, I never have a problem with the car boot because at the, I think the most I've ever spent at a car boot is like 15 pounds. Um, so I'm okay on that. But the, um, the flea market here, oh my gosh, you must have a, um, just take what, what you can afford to spend because, oh my goodness, you get out there and everything. Oh, i never seen such a beautiful place. Um, they've got everything. And stuff that I'm not even interested in, you start walking around and think, oh, it's just, I love it. So I have to, you know, just take X amount of whatever I can afford and, and not use the cash point there, the ATM, because, um, boy, you'd be in all sorts of trouble if you, if you do that. But I do enjoy going and just walking through. We used to take our little dog, but the last couple of times <clears throat> we've stopped taking her because it's in a big field. And um, depending on weather, most of the time it's really muddy, but it, we haven't stopped taking her because of that. It's just she's getting older and we like to go through it, you know, two, three, sometimes four times because you can't take it in. I'm not kidding you. It is massive, um, and you can't take it in the first couple of times. You've got to go through it about three times to really see everything. And it's just too much for her now because she's, um, 
she's in her 13th year. And although she's, a lot of people are surprised she's that old. Um, still, you know, that's getting on up there. She does well for her age, I think. But we know, we've just gotten to where we think, well, we'll just leave her because it's, it slows us down. It's not fair on her because she gets tired and she wants to go get into her cozy bed. And <laughs> I don't blame her. And that age in life, that's what I'd want to do as well. So I'm, did you guys see how that came out? I think that's come out really pretty because it's going to pull those greens out. And we'll just put a little bit. And this is another thing I'm beginning to think. Um, I've started cracking my window since I, everybody's comment. And I appreciate everybody were giving me advice on those old books. But I've begun to think that this glue is not helping either. So I've got my room cracked. And it's, boy, it's been cold yesterday and today. Let me tell you, yesterday, it was beautiful here. Blue skies. And it was cold, but uh, beautiful. And I mean, in about two hours of getting up, we had the biggest hailstorm come through, and it turned the place to... It, it looked like it had just had a fresh dusting of snow. It was beautiful. I was glad to see it because I love, I love the winter. But um, it was quite a surprise because it's been such a mild year here. Okay, so um, generally what I do, I kind of go through with my process and get my pockets in place um, and then maybe come back and see if I feel like it needs a bit more. That's kind of how I do. I don't tend to finish a complete page before moving on. I just generally think, okay, I need to put a pocket there. I need a pocket here. I need a pocket there. And go through my journal. And then I start coming back and filling it with things. Um, this, um, oh, pretty papers. Really pretty papers. So, yeah, I got, um, I think I'll want to do something here. Let me see. So let me get a clip here. <clears throat> Just clip these together while I'm working on this page. I think I kind of want to do some kind of... <laughs> Let's see. We got this pocket. I think that might look really pretty there. So I'll cut that one out. I might do some stitching around this on the machine before I glue it into place. If you um, want to glue them, I mean, sorry, you know, sew them, you need to do all that before you glue it in. But since we, since this was a kind of a process. Um, journal. I didn't do all that, but that is one difference. I would I would normally do all my stitching before I sew sew that signature in, but um, but that's okay. You can still get the look of it. Just um, oh sorry, those are not the right scissors. I got my little Stampin' Up ones. I really need to order something else because these I've had these forever, but I need another pair like that for the real fussy cutting. Um, I've got a scoreboard, guys, but I really just can't be bothered to get it at the moment. I'm <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> I was thinking, and it might be interesting Interesting if you guys um, want to join in on this. I was thinking, what would I do if I won the lottery? And I'd really like to know what you guys would do. I think it's pretty obvious. <coughs> I would sort out. 
my kids and my loved ones. That's just a given, right? But let's just say you were the winner of like the um, the mega millions and you ended up with like four hundred million dollars. That's crazy money. So you take care of all your bills and you get yourself, you know, your house and secure and everything. What would you what would be the thing that you would um, be extravagant on? And for me, I love <laughs> clean sheets. And I thought, if I was so wealthy that I could afford it, I would have, I love the really nice quality sheets, like, like, you know, the high thread count sheets. I'd have really, really nice sheets, but I would have somebody come in and put fresh sheets on my bed every day. So that every night when I went to bed, my bed was clean sheets that had been starched and ironed. And that would be one of my completely extravagant things to do. Um, and I'm going to run, do a little machine stitch around here. I'm going to cut the camera off right here. Think about that question, what would you do? And we'll carry on in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. I uh, did a bit of stitching on that. And I'm just going to get that glued down there. Oh, I like that. Um, okay, so back to if I was like crazy, crazy wealthy. Um, the other thing I would do is I would have somebody that did my tea dyeing. They would, I just have this endless supply of tea dyed and coffee dyed papers because you guys know I don't like that process and I, I freely admit it, it's not my thing. Um, so these, you know, it would just be there. Every time you needed your um, papers, someone would have been in and done that. So that's another thing I thought, oh gosh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to afford to have somebody do all that so that you could just get on with, with what you enjoy, which is the embellishing. I love sewing in the signature. Probably my favorite thing is designing the covers of the journal. And then the other thing, like I said, I'm going to just carry on through here and place my pockets. And then we're going to come back, you know, I'll come back and do some more embellishing. Um, okay, so the other thing I would do is I would have people... A little crew that came that showed up they never get in your way in my in my make-believe world they're never they're there but they're they're never in your way when you're when you got to go over to your cutting board they're not in the way they they just get on with things right and they would do all my mod podging for me because I hate mod podge I hate it hate it hate it <laughs> Um, I got some of the Tim Holtz collage medium. That's a bit better. Probably my favorite is the, um, what's it called? It's medium. It's the matte gel. Li Liquitex. That's probably the one I can get on better than any of them. Um, although I will say the Tim Holtz little brushes for that collage they are, they're worth the money. But I hate working with Mod Podge. It's just, oh, I don't like it. So, in my make-believe world, I'd have these helpers that are there and they do the decoupaging. And I just, I do all the choosing of what I want done because I love that part of it. 
but then they just do all the tedious stuff for me and then it's it's just there it's ready for when I when I come to put it into the journal and so these people I've called them the Mod Podge squad and they just show up I don't have to phone them they know they have the instinct to know when they need to be in my crafting space to to complete those tasks so that's um, that's another thing I'd be super, I'd be extravagant on is um, somebody to do that. And the other thing is they would be dressed up like Super Mario. They'd all have the coveralls and the little caps, just super happy. And you know, like I said, you know they're they're never in your way, but you know they're there doing what they got to do. And they just, it's very positive and upbeat. And they're just kind of bouncing around, doing their thing. Because they love it. See, they love working with Mod Podge. And they they come in and take, for people like myself who don't, um, they're happy to do that for me. So that's that's what another thing I'd be extravagant on. And, and I would have them employed to do that. So, yeah. And then I'd have a big, fabulous... Um, crafting room like the ones you see on Pinterest and you wonder who are these people that have these wonderful you've seen them they've got the racks everything's color coordinated they've got all of the colors of, of their paper and it's just a fabulous place and you think wow do they ever actually do anything because if they did, surely the place couldn't stay like that. But, oh, to have one of them. So then the other thing I thought, and like I said, this is after I've done all my goodwill and, you know, helped out everybody that needed helping out. Um, and this, you know, I know it's, it's very selfish and I, I'm very ashamed that I'm sharing my selfish desires but my fabulous crafting room at the end of the day I would just stop what I'm doing shut the door and leave because at night the cleaning fairies would come in and oh my gosh are they incredible they're so quiet you don't know they're there but when you come back the next day, your project's still sitting where it's supposed to be. They haven't disturbed anything that maybe you might have left that you've, you've not completed. But everything else is back in its place. All of the papers, the blue papers are back in the blue slot. And the green papers are back in the green slot. And it, it's just incredible. All of your scissors are put in their slot so that you're not digging under mounds of paper to find them. That never happens in my world. They're just there. Always there when I need them. And the bone folders? Oh. Bone folders galore. You're never, ever short of a bone folder in my world. So, that's my desire if I was mega mega wealthy so what would you guys do I'm really curious what um and obviously you know it's just to be a bit of fun it's got to be craft related because that, I'm going under the assumption you all have good hearts and you're going to sort out your family that need you and all of that <coughs> this is just purely <coughs> craft related what would you be extravagant over and treat yourself to so um, okay, we are going to put, let's see, we need a bit of a flip out, and I'm trying to think, I need to find a paper, because it would be nice to do something, let me, I'm going to get a, uh, a piece of my tea dyed paper, and I'm going to stitch a old, um, book page to it, and then we're going to put that here, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, I just stitched that to my page and I folded that so that I can then adhere it in here and that'll be then 
a little flip out page. Oh goodness, yeah, I'm getting chilled. I've got my window open and uh, I might have to close it here for a bit. Okay, got that done. We'll let that dry before I do anything else there. Oh, beautiful papers, aren't they? Mm, love those. Let's see. This is so pretty. I think I'll cut this out and make a little pocket here. I'd normally cut these on the um, uh, my paper cutter, but um, it's just uh, not enough room over here, so I'm just going to have to stick with it this way. That is really pretty. Excuse me. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of glue. Like I said, we'll come back and add some trims and things to it. I just want to get all of the pockets down first. And then we'll start filling them with um, some handmade tags and uh, some journaling cards. Oh, look at that page. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to do a little um, tuck spot here. Let me just grab something. Okay, let's see. Let me get a bit of my... I'm just going to take two of these punched out. And the reason I'm doing that, I just want it to be a little bit sturdier because the tuck spots, you want those to be, they just work better if they're a little bit firmer than just a single layer of cardstock. Okay. So we've got that done. I'm going to distress that a little bit, assuming I can get into my ink. Oh, goodness, I've got to look this up. I don't know why those are so difficult to get into now. So I'm just going to distress around the edges a little bit there. And I think I'll put a couple of brads just to make it stand out a little bit more. And I think I'm going to use the gold brads this time because um, I think it'll look nice on that. Pokey tool has disappeared, so I'm going to have to use this instead. Uh, it's funny. I, I love the fact that everybody says it's their pokey tool. We all call it that, don't we?
I did a tutorial on these little embellishments. Um, if I can remember, I will link that below. It's been a while back um, that I did a tutorial on this, so I'll try to remember to link that below so you guys can see it. So, uh, da, 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 da. where's my other punch? Sorry, I gotta grab. There she is. Um, Just one second, guys. I'm trying to find some paper to do my... Oh, there it is. This is what I was looking for. I'm going to punch out a couple of butterflies out of this. i do about um, three. some baker's twine here I'm going to use because it's got a little bit of green in it. That was some Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still carry it anymore. They probably don't. Uh, but you can pick up <coughs> baker's twine anywhere. So I'm just going to tie those together. Distress them a little bit so they'll stand out a bit more. absolutely love these brushes. I am so glad um, I got those because I wanted another s solution. I wasn't really that happy with the sponge applicators and uh, when I saw those I thought oh I've got to try those for sure and they are really really nice but I've got to get organized now and start labeling um, because I tend to just use the crumb cake and then the, I've, then I've got the Tim Holtz inks. I want to keep those labeled separately. And then really the only other color I use um, is the pink. I like that Blushing Bride pink from um, Stampin' Up. That's a really pretty one when you're working with Shabby Sheep. It just, it's just a beautiful shade. It's kind of like the avocado skin color which by the way guys guess what I bought today some avocados so you know what's coming I um, I'm gonna try to get those prepared and uh, I'm just gonna glue this now that bottom layer butterfly I'm gonna glue like I said if you if you got any questions guys you're gonna have to check the tutorial on this because I have done one um, But what was I saying? Oh yes, the avocado skin. I'm going to try to get my um, mixture ready and get started doing that in the next couple of weeks because I want to get back to some shabby sheep colors. Okay, so yeah, what I was saying, sorry about that, I had to answer the door. Um, I wanted to get back to some shabby chic. Um, journals you know but I need I need to get some more of my the avocado skin uh, dyeing paper all oh, those papers they are beautiful um, okay that's come out I'm happy with that I'll show you guys and then you've got what's nice about these when you're shipping them or working on them it's it flattens and then you can just pop them back up love those I'm going to put that right there, <coughs> and then we'll have a nice little tuck spot there. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? That noise in the background, I just got my um, ink supply, and uh, i got to get my machine calibrated. I was out of ink, and I was stressing out that, because I've got some kits I need to get printed, so... <clears throat> ok 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. We'll let that dry. Like I said, we'll come back and start filling this in, but I just want to get all of the papers. I'm going to put a couple of small butterflies there. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that. Let me do that right now. Sorry about that. That was at the bottom of my drawer. That's another thing that's on my list of things to do is um, to organize my punches because it's driving me mad. They're in the uh, drawer at the moment and um, I don't I don't like having them that way, but I don't know what else to do with them. I've seen a lot of things on tutorial, um, Pinterest for organizing them, but I've not seen anything that I think is going to work in my particular space. <clears throat> I like these little um, things in the center of our the signatures, I think they're really, really sweet. I'm just going to distress around the edges a little bit. I think this one, I'm going to do a bit of stamping as well because I did a mix on this one of some white and tea dyed paper, so I feel like it needs. A little something so what I might do in fact I will let me just grab it as soon as I get this done I'll do a bit of script stamping and you guys can see because sometimes that it's just kind of nice on a plane it just kind of gives your paper a little bit more something going on in the background so let me do that uh, da, 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 da. let's see Just going to put that down there. I'm putting a paper under it just to protect because otherwise you're going to end up with that image everywhere. <clears throat> so I've got my big script stamp and uh, So yeah, I want to stamp this off first because I don't want it to be very dark. So I'm just going to stamp off and then just very lightly hit that. And then the same thing over here. I'm going to move those butterflies over. And ink that up again. And stamp that ink off and... I like how that's come out. See, it just gives it, rather than it just being plain white, it just gives it a little bit something there. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to put a few more pockets here, and then I'm probably going to need to empty my uh, my card because I've got a feeling that <clears throat> this thing's got to be getting full. Let me put a pocket here. This is a really pretty one. I like the fact she's put a little tab on there. That's very sweet.
Okay, I'll put that there. I do love the sunflowers. They're so pretty. <clears throat> I think I would like to try to get a few planted in my garden this year, but it's uh, whether I'm going to have room for it. We're going to try to grow a few um, vegetables because it's the first time I've had a little garden for <laughs> 12 years and I'm so excited because I love to garden. I really, really enjoy it and I just cannot wait for the weather to change so I can get back out there. These are the sort of cutoffs, guys, that I'm going to save. And, and work on some tiny embellishments. That'll be another <coughs> video. I did one a while back, but um, if you want to check, oh, look at these, aren't they sweet? I'm gonna cut that out. I think I'll make another little um, corner tuck there. Um, but yeah, I, I like to use those off cuts on little tiny embellishments that you can and so you can check. I did a tutorial not too long back so look through my videos for that. You guys are probably thinking why does she keep changing scissors? It's because I grab what's closest but these are the ones I like to use for the really fussy cutting. They, they work the best. Oh, that is, look at that. How sweet is that? I'd love to have a, that arrangement on my dresser in my bedroom. How cheerful would that be to wake up to that every morning? So pretty. <clears throat> you know, let me just see. If I've never done one of the um, paper clips now because it would stand up too high if I did it with that one. That'll have to be something I'll have to play around with. That would make a cute paper clip though. But you could use it on those. <coughs> I did the um, hairpin one a while back and that that would work on that, but I don't, I don't have time to do that today, so I'm just going to figure out. I think I'll just make it as a little corner tuck. I've got to um, devote some time this week to making some more embellishments. I want to get my paper clips done. Um, just I just want to have some playtime. I've been working so much <clears throat> this last month and I really have missed you know to just do some fun stuff and try some new techniques because I've seen so many you know, well so many clever ladies on the groups and um, I've got a list of stuff I'm like oh I can't wait till I get some time to try that um, Okay, let's get another little pocket. I think I'll use one of these little postcards. Aren't those pretty? Really beautiful. You know I'm thinking cards again. Every time I see a postcard, 
I start thinking, I've got to make some cards. I did finally make some, thank goodness, I finally did. Um, and that was really enjoyable because um, this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of on journal burnout. And I need to go back and do some small projects just to get myself kind of um, recharged. And I, I've got all these things in mind, but I don't know. It just depends because if I get the chance, I'd like to do some really small journals. Oh, I do like that. That's pretty. I'm going to put that down. This is, I'm definitely going to want to do, I tell you what, I'm going to do some script stamping on that one again. Just two seconds. Because I don't like those plain white pages, so. Let's see, I must have missed one in the front. Oh no, we covered it up, didn't we, with this? Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I hadn't left one without it. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do something else here. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go to the machine, so I'm going to shut this off, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I had to empty my SD card, and so I had a bit of time because it takes, it takes a while to do that. So I went ahead and cut out the kit, and um, we're going to get started and finish this off. So... I'm not too sure where we were, but <clears throat> I think it was back over here. We put that in. Um, yeah, I've just started placing a few things around. Um, and then we're going to get these glued. And then, and then do a bit more embellishing and then be done. So, this is quite a large kit. So there's a lot for you to work with, and I do love this little tuck spot. That is really pretty against that, so, uh-oh, uh I'm making a mess here. Okay, I want to get a postcard in there. Actually, we'll come back to that. Let me just get everything. Oh, yeah, this is a big envelope from the kit. I've got that cut out, glued together, and I've pinned that in the journal. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I think we might put that there. That's really sweet. Yeah, I'll put that one there. It all takes time. And this is why, you know, a lot of people ask me, they say, well, how do you do your journal so quick? I don't. <laughs> That's the answer. I don't. Um, here I've done a um, belly band with some of the it's the background paper. I've printed it onto cardstock. I've stitched some lace to it. So it looks like I have, but what 
you don't see is all the work that goes on in the background because I'm always working on multiple journals um, because it's all a process um, whether it's the tomes which are the Nick the Booksmith course or the fabric you've got you know you can I think you're starting to see you know you do the <clears throat> cover sit it to the side then you've got to process your papers and it there's none of it is quick so you know if something's coming out here I've done isn't that adorable I've stitched that pocket to the this is another pocket that you, so I've layered that that is gorgeous and I think against that other gingham how pretty um, so even though I might show three journals in a week what um, what people don't realize is those <coughs> have probably been in the works for weeks uh, sometimes months um, because of the, all the steps you know with um, particularly the large hardbacks there are so many steps that you've got to get through and so um, you know and then you got to print out your papers cut out everything organizing it I think that's the hardest part is deciding what you want, how you want things done, and then the tea dyeing. That's, gosh, many days each summer are just spent uh, each summer. Listen to me. Uh, here I've stitched that little um, journal card to make a little tuck spot, and then we're going to have a pocket back there. I think that looks nice because it's quite bold. Um, yeah, the tea dyeing, goodness, that's... Probably, I don't know, three days a month I'm spending on tea dyeing papers um, because it's not worth it just to do a few papers at a time. You, you tend to do them in batches. Although, having said that, <clears throat> with the winter I have had to do smaller batches because there's no place for me to. Um, I can't line dry them in the winter, so I'm having to bake them. And. Um, so I have had to do smaller batches, but it does take so long to do all these things. But it's enjoyable. I mean, some things are more enjoyable than others, as we know. I think I've moaned enough about the tea dyeing. <laughs> okay. Um, here, this is a really nice element. It's a big... Uh, you could glue that together and make it an envelope, but I'm going to actually have it as a bit of a flip out. That way you've got a write, nice writing space. So that's how I'm going to use it in this journal, and I love that. This is going to end up being a really um, big journal. And I'll tell you something else I'm going to do about this here, is just glue three sides so that we can have a secret pocket. Behind that, you can also make a nice little pocket. Let me just let that dry, and then we'll come back and add some things. All right, so that's the back. I'm going to need something back there. Okay, I'll come back to that, because I think that I'll probably want to do a tag. So I'm going to start back over. I found this in my stash, which is a little felt sunflower. And I just think that's got to go with this one, because it's just too sweet to keep. So that's going to go. Here I want to put a pretty tag. So I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to put another little journal card behind that. I think here I'm going to put this. Um, she's got these little envelopes. I'm going to cut one of those very quickly. 
and I think I'm just going to have that um, clipped in there. Yeah, I thought while I was downloading, I better get some of this stuff cut out because there, it is a very big kit, and I've really enjoyed working with it. Um, but it would have just been hours of filming if I had, of, um, you know, had you guys sitting there watching all of it. It would have just taken so long. So um, I'll get these done. Get that in. I might have to make. I'll probably make an, a couple of altered paper clips and then I'll come back and once it's completed I'm going to do a flip through um, of the completed journal. But this just gives you an idea of you know my process. It's not perfect. No way is it perfect. I'm still learning just like you guys. Um, trying to become more efficient and organize my space so that's a little bit easier for me to find things but um, with that comes a lot of sorting out because I have to make the decision of what I think I'm not going to be using anymore and that's what part of my giveaway was is to just start thinning out um, things so if you haven't um, joined in on the giveaway, do that because I'm not drawing until April 1st for that uh, for the winter. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, I love sunflowers. They're just happy flowers, aren't they? Okay. So I'm just actually gonna I'm just gonna clip that one in there. I'm not gonna glue that together because some people like to um, write inside of those. So I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, that's a really, really pretty image that is. That's the one I've got on the front cover and I love that because it's, um, it's quite dark. It's really, really pretty. Okay, here let's get ourselves a tag for that pocket. I'm going to put that postcard in there. Isn't that a pretty one? I love the kind of like a craft background. That's beautiful. Sometimes that glue kind of seeps when you, um, oh goodness, I don't know what's happened here. Sometimes it, it will um, seep out and I'm so glad I didn't put anything in there too soon. I'm starting to learn because, you know, when I'm trying to um, get stuff going, I sometimes will stick something in there as a reminder that, oh, I want a tag in this pocket. Well, I've stopped doing that because the glue um, is awful about doing that. Here, what I did was I had this image printed onto a cardstock, so I had some of it left over, and I thought, well, it would be really nice to have a really big pocket because I think those are nice to put in the journal, so I think I'm going to do that on that spot. So, I'll do that. So that'll give a really nice, big place to shove things. Okay, happy with that. Really happy with that. Isn't that a beautiful page? Oh, let me do a little bit of stamping. I feel like that needs something up there. Let me see what I've got, guys. <clears throat> I 
I've had so many people ask me about these stamps. And the problem is <clears throat> they're <coughs> unbranded. And I did buy these from AliExpress, and I no longer uh, shop with AliExpress for many reasons. If you guys aren't aware, um, the Chinese are <clears throat> terrible about stealing some of our ladies' um, artwork, original artwork, and they're printing them as papers. So I don't support them anymore. But um, I've had a lot of ladies ask me, oh, where do you get those? Because they're very dainty images. But I'm sorry, um, I don't have any way to uh, trace it back because they're unbranded. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, I don't think in good conscience I could I could pass that on anyways because I don't think we should be supporting the um, anybody that is is doing that. It's wrong, and I don't think we should be a part of that. But. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Let me show you guys a little tip. If you get a large acrylic stamping block, once you've put your um, pages into the journal and you decide, oh, I'd really like to go back and stamp, this is a little tip. Put it under the area that you want to stamp. Um, now this one I can tell is probably not going to come out great because I've got this on the back, but... It's just um, something I've found because sometimes, you know, you, you get things sewn in and I think, oh, I really wish I would have added some stamping. So this is what you, you do. Just put that under the page that you're going to stamp and then that way you can press down. So there you go. That's just another a little tip for you because you can't always remember to do everything before you um, move on to the next step. So... Just keep that in mind, guys. I'm going to put one here. I like stamping. I really enjoy it. Um, it's what I started out with, and probably because it was the first real thing I started with, that's probably why I, I enjoy it so much. Um, yeah, I'm just going to randomly put some of these because it just kind of finishes everything off nicely. I'll put one on this one as well. Just a little bit more interest to a page. And I'm not going to do it on every page, but I just think it's Kind of nice to have it here and there. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this is coming along. It's um, starting to come together when you start doing your embellishing, so that's really nice to see because it's a very long, drawn-out process, as I said. And uh, I'll put one on here. And when you start get to this point, you think, "Oh, this is the part I think everybody really enjoys." Well, I like I said, for me, probably the cover. Is the thing I enjoy the most and then next would be sewing in the signature there's something really fulfilling about that um, I'm gonna put another little stamp there and then um, embellishing is nice because that's when you're like oh it's really coming together now that'll look nice there and <laughs> you start placing things it's 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 nice um, so now you can see it's starting to get chunky um, so that's great because this Going back to our cover, that's when you're going to start knowing, you know, at what, how much of this I'm going to need to cut off because I, I'm going to wait till it's completely done and then I'm going to trim the excess. Um, so yeah. Um, 
Okay guys, I think this is where I'm going to stop because to be honest, the rest of it, I've got all of my pockets in. Now I'm just going to go back and fill out. I've got to finish cutting up the rest of my tags. These are some more of the tags. Um, I'm going to cut the rest of these up and place them throughout the journal and just do the finishing touches and then I will have the flip through of the completed journal. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this. Um, thank, you've, you've been awesome for um, commenting and participating so don't forget to leave some comments below on um, you know what you would like to do in your craft world our imaginary craft world when we all win the lottery and I will be back um, with the completed journal flip through so thanks a lot guys I'll see you soon take care bye <music>